Hello viewers and welcome to the first of our videos looking at Dirt Rally. Well Dirt Rally came out a couple of weeks ago. We were deep in Project Cars action at the time and over the next few days besides more Project Cars action I'll be catching up on some of the other sort of titles that are re being released and upcoming and everything else. Now Dirt Rally we see here racing around Greece. The rallies you're going to see are my first attempt at each stage. Okay so I do a test 20 seconds check my steering's right then I start the stage and away we go so what am I looking at here well I opted for the bonnet cam in terms of gives me a nice view of the environment uh, I found the cockpit cams were a little bit too internal uh, I haven't seen triple screen settings yet I don't know if they're buried in there but I, I didn't have them and that's why it made the cockpit a little bit awkward so what do we think straight away well visually lovely really nice uh, you know pushing the graphics engine all the way the last gen graphics engine and you can see straight away I can see these wonderful views and vistas and this is what I'm talking about when you're you're playing a rally game you're going on a journey as I like to say as I make a mistake there get to the reasons for that in a moment uh, you're going on a journey you, you see different types of scenery you see wonderful views you, you're traveling across an actual landscape it's really nice to see so many rally games don't do that they they essentially you feel like you're driving down a tunnel of trees and there's nothing beyond that and whereas here you can see wonderful depth of field lovely lighting effects a great hue on the mountains there so visually really nice really nice so far but um, there's a couple of issues I'm, I'm having issues with it at the moment one is uh, feeling of speed I'm finding there's a great lack of a feeling of speed and a lot of the mistakes I'm making especially breaking into some of these hairpins not because it's hard it's not because I don't know when to break it's because I, I don't, well I say it's not when to break I, I don't feel this feeling of speed I don't feel I should be braking I hit the brakes and realize wow I need a much longer braking distance it's not simulating the feeling of speed to me and that's one of the issues I have is I feel like I'm crawling along at 50 mile an hour and barely that and then I'm struggling to get round corners the other issue I've had so far is to do with a co-driver. Very quick, lots of information, but I find it unreliable. He'll say right six, so that to me is a flat six. Uh, I'll go into a corner and I would consider it a right four. So then I think to myself, every time he says right six or right five or left five, I'm lifting a lot more than I need to because I don't have faith that what he's telling me is absolutely right so the details are there the bumps when to cut not to cut but just generally some of the calls I'm finding a little bit off here and there on some of these courses you know I've gone into a right six flat thinking no problem car flies straight into a wall uh, and that's incredibly frustrating because you think well I can't listen to my co-driver so I tend to get halfway through a stage uh, and it doesn't affect all stages some stages more than others it has been an issue from time to time so those two things considered meant jumping from project cars onto this was quite difficult but I wanted to run some of it while we have the chance and then I'll be jumping back on project cars and continuing a lot on there so visually very nice a special mention has to go to the audio possibly some of the best audio we've ever heard in a game we've got some great audio in dirt rally here we've got some great audio in project cars and some great audio in race from racing experience you know, I, I think the guys at sector three are doing a fantastic job with audio there as well so great to see improvements in the audio department now this is another issue here i have uh, we're going to come to in a minute but when i go into the shadows i find that the scenery gets increasingly blurred uh, and this was actually making me feel a bit unwell we're going to get to a moment in about 30 seconds when I'm going through some trees and it gets very blurry and it, it gave me motion sickness essentially because everything was blurry across the whole screen it made it very difficult to drive it actually sends me off the track in just a moment so here I was noticing more and more blur in the shade I don't know if it's a technical issue or something like that but certainly something I, I had a problem with just a few seconds now and we get to it right here now it starts to go all blurry for me and turning around the whole track everything's blurry making me feel quite unwell and then I hit the braking here for the hairpin felt dreadful after that section so everything was blurred on the screen so it's just a, and then when I get back into the light again 
it catches all the detail and everything's back in focus. It's just something I had a problem with on this stage. I've not experienced it on any other stage like that so far. But, um, stages look really nice. Obviously, if I ran this stage several times, I would get quicker and quicker and quicker. And I'm sure many of you now are going a minute quicker than I'm going on these stages. I won't be competing on times or anything like that with it. Um, but certainly, when I have a bit more time, I'd like to put a bit more into it. I was racing on the well stages that you're going to see in another video. Um, and I really enjoyed that, so I'm going to go back to that. It kind of reminded me of the classic Colin McRae 1. Uh, I always liked the New Zealand stage that you started the game on. and kind of reminded me of that. Greece is always a very rocky, uh, rough sort of road setting. And I look forward to more rallies. Of course, Pikes Peak is coming to this, and that's going to be in Sebastian Loeb Rally later in the year. So we're looking forward to the competition between the different rally titles. We're in the latter half of this rally now. And I haven't seen it, but you at home will see the replay included in there as well. Some nice replays. Again, look at the visuals there. Lovely field of view. Very aggressive feeling to the rally. It looks a lot better on video in terms of feeling a speed than it actually does when you're playing. It was a lot slower when you're playing. That's a, one of my sort of key issues with it. But, uh, I'm going to rally race some more and you know work on a few stages and you know just just sort of get some more speed out of them. Try some of the different cars. I've been trying the different cars. Some of the cars are very tricky to learn how to drive. You've really got to. Uh, work on that throttle control and understand how your braking shifts your weight through the car. So I should imagine a lot of you that are dedicated to your rally, this, this is a big addition uh, to a lot of you out there. And it's nice to see. I mean, I've seen F1 2015. I've seen what Codemasters are doing with that. And we've seen Dirt Rally here and what Codemasters are trying to achieve. You know, we see Project Cars recently come out and... You know, that is Toka Race Driver, what it would have been. You know, Codemasters have lost that simulation part of their, their business. They've lost their market there, and that's been taken up by someone else. And now they need to go back and reclaim it. And this is a good step in that way, in terms of giving the developers feedback in what they need. But uh, that was the end of that stage. I hope you've enjoyed my rambles. More Dirt Rally action to come, and there'll be more from me very soon.